All right, thanks so much, Nakanja. Leaders with Sewage and Water Board say it'll take time to figure out what caused an explosion in Turbine 5 at their Carrollton plant. They say they plan to bring in outside experts and engineers for a full investigation. We went back to the site of the explosion today to see how neighbors are faring and to get an engineer's take on the blast. Well, I see it there, but I'm not like feeling as well as I did before the, uh, the accident. 94-year-old Willard Anderson says his nerves are a lot calmer than the last time we spoke. Directly across from the Carrollton plant, the explosion in Turbine 5 shattered his front windows and left him in shock. It happened so fast that I, I, I just oh, yeah. didn't know why it happened. In fact, I thought it was in my house. Percussion, just like a, a drum head. You have the initial explosion, which sends a, a wave of air outward. And then once the area of explosion has no more, has sort of a negative pressure, then it just sucks all the air back into it. But it happens really fast. I'm really fast, like boom. Professional engineer H.J. Bosworth explains why homeowners found glass on both the inside and outside of their houses. That's where it blew up. Bosworth has worked in power plants. He hasn't seen the damage inside sewage and water boards plant, but broadly speaking, he says it all comes down to physics. In order for the turbine casing to explode, there has to be fuel and some sort of, and some way to ignite the fuel. There was some sort of fuel that got into the turbine there was enough heat in the turbine to ignite the fuel and cause the explosion. Obviously, I cannot explain what happened. I, I mean, it would be so premature. None of my staff even is, is speculating or even trying to guess. Again, we're going to be very thoughtful, very systematic, and we don't want to be hasty. Though the root cause is still undetermined, Bosworth says the strength of the blast is evident. But it blew those off. If you look at the... Hey, that's what, you see how it's, it's crooked? See that edge over there that looks like it's open? It blew that off. The exhaust gas, you know, took a lot of the force. He says it was enough to knock the exhaust stack from its supports. It's just a symptom of what happened. The real problem is in the building to your left where the turbine casing has probably been destroyed. This is what a steam-powered turbine looks like. It's number four, the one that first had issues, triggering workers to switch on gas-powered number five. Well, they're both very old, and I've, I've, I say that where we are in a stable situation, we are not to become complacent because they are very old, and situations like today could happen. A resident here for 55 years, Anderson says nothing like this had ever happened before, and he hopes it will never happen again. Sewage and water board leaders still don't know what caused the initial issue in Turbine 4. They said that's part of their current investigation.